All right, time to talk about how to use your bulb pipette. Learning to do this means that you'll be able to deliver accurate and precise aliquots of a sample solution. Let's start with the safety bulb. So when you're using this, there are three valves. The valve at the top is to help you create a vacuum in your bulb. The center valve here is to help draw liquid up. And the third valve on the side is to help release liquid from your pipette. Now, starting with a safety tip here, when you are connecting your safety bulb, let's talk about a big no. Don't try and assemble your pipette with one hand right down the bottom and the other one right at the top trying to put the bulb on because as you're trying to push these two together, glass doesn't bend, it breaks. The danger is that you might snap the pipette and then because you're pushing the two together, it might push the broken pipette into your hand. That's very nasty. So please don't do that. Instead, you can see here when we pick it up, hold the pipette nice and high up the top and then just ease your safety bulb on like so. So now that we've got it assembled, you can then collect some of your sample and pour it into a clean, dry beaker in order to avoid contamination. And then the first thing we do with our pipette is we rinse. So pop the tip of your pipette under the level of solution, use the second valve to draw it up into the pipette, and about a quarter fill the bulb, like so. And then we can swirl it around in the barrel, we can rinse the pipette. When you're doing this, please try to avoid getting liquid up into the safety bulb, it's not good for them. Once you've finished the rinse, you can then discard the liquid to waste. Once discarded, now we're ready to collect our real sample. So pop your pipette into your solution, again the tip right underneath, and draw it up past the mark. So we're not aiming for the 20 mil mark, we want to go right up past the mark. Again, just highlighting that here, we really want to make sure that we are well above that mark. And then at that point in time, get your paper towel and I want you to clean off the outside of your pipette. We don't want any excess draining off the outside. Once you've cleaned off the outside, pick up your waste beaker and what we're going to do is we're going to pin the tip of your pipette against the side of the waste beaker, like so. And then we're going to ease down the level of the solution until the bottom of the meniscus is sitting on top of the line, just like so. Once you've achieved that, you've got your perfect aliquot, your perfect 20 mils in this case. Go straight to the flask you want to deliver into, pin the tip of the pipette against your flask, and then you can hold the release valve or take off the safety bolt. You can see it draining away there. Then when it gets to the bottom, don't remove the pipette. Leave it there for another 15 seconds. There's still a small amount trailing down the glass wall of your pipette into the flask. It needs to be pinned against the side in order to deliver this. You'll also notice that when you finish this delivery, there's still a small amount of liquid left in the tip. Don't worry, it's calibrated to be this way. Don't try and shake it or blast it out. Again, if you've done your delivery correctly, it's meant to be this way. So after that, pop down your sample and you're done. That's your 20 mil aliquot. All right, let's quickly recap this all in one go. Once you've rinsed your pipette, place your tip in the sample and we draw liquid up past the mark. Clean off the outside with paper towel, drain back down to the mark into a waste beaker with the tip pinned against the side, and then do your delivery into your flask. Once again, pipette vertical, tip pinned against the side. And finally, when the solution reaches the bottom, count an extra 15 seconds for that small amount that's still trailing down. If you get into all of these good habits, you'll be able to deliver an accurate and precise aliquot from your pipette anytime that you like. Right. Good luck.